Good putting requires a consistent setup. The setup for ladder line putting that I recommend to start off with is you stand behind the ball, pick your target line, use the yellow alignment marks to give you your direction. You set the putter down and with the flat bottom, it'll stay in position for you and show you where to stand. You put your right hand on the top of the grip as you walk over and the reason you do that is to keep your right shoulder pointing in the same direction as you line up. Now you're gonna put your hips, shoulders, feet, all pointing in the same direction as the face. This alignment is so consistent. Once you've got your alignment set, you're gonna reach over with your left hand, grab the top of the grip, right arm's relaxed, bring it forward. Most of the weight's being held in your left hand. You give it a tap or two to feel that weight, and then you're ready to judge your distance and you make your stroke. The consistency of this is, is what makes the ladder line style work so well. You need that sort of regularity in your stroke. Note. Both feet must remain on the same side of the ball. Straddling the ball, putting croquet style, or placing one foot behind the ball is not conforming. The anchor points are very important to remember in the stroke. Your left arm has to stay attached to your body. Your left wrist is your swivel point for the stroke. This is the movement you're trying to establish. The right hand supplies the angle of the shaft and gives the power for the backstroke and the follow through. But keep your right arm loose, right elbow flexed, movement off the shoulder. And remember that your right hand is just a guide. Don't let your right hand over control the club. That can really cause you to steer it and do a lot of twisting in the motion. The tempo, remember it's slow, smooth, Big stroke, same tempo. Small stroke, same tempo. That way you just adjust the size of the stroke to determine the distance and takes hitting out of the, out of the picture. High grip the club is important. Your left hand, which is your anchor hand, needs to feel like a socket, not a, a death grip on the end of the club. So you're gonna wanna run your two forefingers down the front of the grip and use your thumb on the back so you can feel yourself capable of lifting it up with your left hand. Your left hand supports the grip. Your right hand, I suggest a pencil grip, which is your stroking hand for a right-hander. Your inside thumb on your right hand is holding the shaft angle. Your outside fingers are going to be very light on the grip in order to keep the grip or the stroke going straight. Holding the club farther down the grip than is natural can create a stiff right arm and elbow which limits the backstroke capability. Using a short hitting motion with arm and wrist instead of a full smooth tempo stroke from the shoulder can distort distance control. Gripping too tightly with either hand can distort the stroke motion of the putter. Remember the anchor arm secures the stroke while the swiveling Anchor hand supports the weight. It's not necessary to have your eyes over the line of the ball during the stroke, so a side lean is not necessary. A slight forward roll of the shoulders will supply stability to the stance. If the stroking elbow stays bent on the follow through, it could create a scooping action that can cause topping or lose energy through the ball at contact. It's best to have a flex on the backstroke and extend your arm on the follow through that keeps the head low to the ground at impact. Directional difficulty can take place when your shoulders, hips, or toes are not pointing toward the intended path of the ball. It's important to remember not to have a twisting motion to the stroking hand or arm at impact. Having an inconsistent anchor point can distort your stroke and cause an inaccurate aim line. Foot distance can also affect directional control. Standing too close to the ball will put your hip in the way which will distort your backstroke and follow through. If your toes are not aligned parallel to the face at a dress, for example, if your toes are too far behind the ball, the ball could go left or too far in front of the ball would push the ball to the right. So maintain a proper address shaft position with the club head flat on the ground. 
Having too strong a grip with either hand, as was the case with distance control, can also affect directional control. There can sometimes be a tendency to allow your stroking elbow to flare out during the backstroke and follow through. Doing this will distort your aim line. It's most important to remember to keep your arm straight behind the grip on the backstroke and follow through to maintain proper direction. When executing a long or lag putt, 25 feet or more, the objective is to get the ball into the cup first and within three feet of the cup if we miss. The L2 putter and ladder line style will make this the strongest part of your game. Aside from the fundamentals of a sound lateral line stroke, here are a few aspects to pay attention to. A relaxed, flexible stroking elbow, which is the right elbow for right-handers, will allow for a larger backstroke, which creates more energy for the gravity-pulled clubhead on the downstroke and follow-through. The movement of the stroking arm is to produce a pulling backstroke with a going-along-for-the-ride feel on the follow-through. The stroking elbow while bending on the backstroke should straighten on the follow-through. This keeps the putter head low through impact, which assures contact between the vertical sweet spot of the face and the ball, guaranteeing the anticipated energy transfer that your binocular vision, feel, and touch has decided is needed for the perceived distance. Avoid maintaining a bent elbow on the follow-through, which can create a scooping stroke that causes topping and a weak energy transfer, which means putts that fall short. Because of the large backstroke required, it is very important to keep your stroke elbow behind the club on the backstroke and follow-through. If your elbow flares on the backstroke, your aim line will be lost. Remember, the anchor hand, which is the left hand for right-handers, swivels and supports the weight throughout the stroke, while the anchor arm stays secured to the chest. There will be a tendency to over-involve your stroking arm when executing long putts, which must be avoided. Keep a light grip and remember your pendulum tempo for a slow, smooth, graceful stroke. When making short putts with the lateral line stroke, uh, another method you might use is to stand behind the ball slightly and a little closer to the line, not stepping in the line. You're gonna rest the grip of the club more in the middle of your body, and then you're gonna use an underhand grip with your right hand that just gives a very short backstroke and then a push through to the cup. It's a very accurate, very stable stroke for, for three foot putts and in. And sometimes you can use it for longer putts if the greens are fast. I want to show you a couple of drills that will really help uh, your timing and tempo and stroke movement. This is called a three ball drill. What you're going to do is take three golf balls and make sure you put them at, uh, pretty close to a putter head length away from each other. You're going to line yourself up, feel a tempo. If you pick a distance, that's fine. And what you're going to do is you're going to start your stroke and keep it moving without stopping the putter head. Putt, back, step over, putt back, step over, putt. What this gives you is a constant feeling of a tempo movement. It gives you confidence in knowing the ball's down there and you're making contact. The next drill we're gonna talk about is the two ball drill. You put a ball in front of the putter and one behind the putter right in line with yellow alignment marks. You square yourself up and you try to take a square back and square forward stroke. What it does, it makes you conscious of the back stroke and it gives you a good reference as to where the ball rolls when you do take the putter back to see if it rolls straight back or rolls to the inside or outside to tell you how your backstroke was. Next drill we're gonna do is called the one arm drill and what you do is you're just gonna grab the club with your right arm underhand grip, run the grip up your forearm and just do a stroke with one arm. What this does is it, it, it slows you down, teaches you how to use your shoulders as the pendulum motion and not your wrists or hands. If the grip starts flying off like this, then you're using your wrists and hands too much. It should stay one big motion, the club a continuation of your arm. Last thing I want to talk about is, and we've talked about it several times before, is the tempo. Uh, you can go to a music store and buy a metronome. This is just a little electronic one, it's like $6. And what you do with it is you turn it on and set it to a tempo that'll match your, 
your feel for what you think you need to stroke the club. For me, it's about 58 beats a minute. You should be somewhere around that length. A little bit faster for shorter clubs, a little longer for longer clubs. You get that tempo in your head. It's nice to do this in front of a mirror. Start moving your club to the tempo and then just start varying the sizes. Keep your muscles relaxed, very smooth, very square face. Vary the size. What this is gonna do for you is gonna give you great distance control because all you need to do now is just look at how far you need to go Decide on the size of the backstroke and the follow through that, that ensues because of the weight of the putter and let the tempo do the work. For golfers who may need more time to make the switch to the lateral line system, we are introducing the L2 Traditional. The amazing head stability of the L2 gives golfers easier alignment, a zero reference point for setup, and a better feel for shoulders and arms throughout the stroke. This means a dead hands motion with a smooth, repeatable tempo unlike any club on the market. If you are not going to look where you're going, you should get all the help you can. Try the L2 Traditional. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you have a better understanding now of the ladder line style and the L2 putter and how they both can be so advantageous in cutting strokes off your game. And if you do want to talk to us any further, go to our website, ladderlineputter.com, where you can find our email addresses and phone numbers. Remember our slogan, if you want different results, try something different. John Ambrose and all of the Ladder Line team would like to thank Hemlock Springs Golf Course in Geneva, Ohio, and Kensington Golf Club in Canfield, Ohio, for allowing us to use their great facilities.